Now we're looking at uh, so many interesting reports today and of course we have a lot in store for you. But to start off in a bid to maintain a city free of garbage, Kampala Capital City Authority has embarked on a campaign and a 21 year old uh, Nabugabo um, up deal joint venture in one, in a, you know, to have uh, this seen as a reality at the end of the day. A city free of garbage, Kampala Capital City Authority has embarked on a campaign and a 21-year-old Nabugabo Updale joint venture is one of the contracted companies. Sensitizing the public on garbage dumping, dangers and collection of which people are aware now. Yeah, we sensitize them on how to store garbage, how to keep garbage, how to handle garbage such that uh, we improve on their general sanitation conditions. So we have been sensitizing the communities to work with uh, the contractors but also to ensure that the environment is uh, clean. Kesisi spokesperson Kawuju says garbage causes diseases like cholera hence advice to be stopped. Because we, we get disease based on um, what is uh, uh, based on uh, the garbage that we get. So we remind um, all city residents, all people that work in the city, to ensure that they keep a clean environment, they should stop dumping anywhere they find. We have put up litter bins in so many areas, but also to utilize um, the relationship they have with um, the garbage co uh, collectors. Nabugabo Abdul Joint Venture, registered in 1998, purposely for garbage collection, has expounded and in charge of bigger parts with extensions around Kampala Central and Rwaga Division, inclusive of households, roads, arcades, and many more. Held several cleanup exercises in the areas of Natete, Oseka, Mengo, Bukesa, Kamocha, and uh, we do this to improve general cleanliness in these areas. According to Kabengwa Musa, the company's technical director, the company has supported over 700 people through job opportunities and mostly street children. <laughs> Uh, the company employs over 700 people, uh, both skilled and unskilled. We work in Kampala Central and the Baga Division, so we have created employment to these people. And uh, we hope to employ more because when we set up a recycling plant, we need people to sort out, to work in the machinery. So we are likely to employ, to employ more, like a thousand people. Workers also are appreciative for the opportunity encouraging others. <laughs> They have a good working relationship with their clients, though some are misled by rumors. <laughs> With rainy seasons, roads are impossible, hence the delay in the service. <laughs> Sonko Abu, the spokesperson, says Nabugabo is now working around the clock to have their own private recycling plant to ease the services to the community. So far, as a company, we have uh, acquired the piece of land in Uwakiso. We are planning to set up our private recycling plant. 
the recycling plant will be commercial, whereby charcoal, plastics, bovera and many items will be manufactured here. <laughs> In addition, Sonko says it's expensive to invest in the existing businesses because garbage collection needs new vehicles to handle the businesses. For the last four years, we acquired brand new Tata trucks, which we are using for garbage collection, and now we are having a new fleet of compact trucks expected here in the next three months. So that's how we have built our capacities. However, the company's contracts have been extended for another one year so that government works out a comprehensive mechanism, garbage collection, management and recycling charging between 3,000 Uganda shillings to 30,000 Uganda shillings. Three companies have been contracted to help KCCA in garbage collections, especially where KCCA has the cabinet approval. Story filed by Joel Vuya for UBC News. And uh, moving.